the Palm Pre has been out for one week now and right now they have about 30 applications in their app catalog I'm gonna be going over the best applications in my opinion that you can get from there and I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to play ROMs on your Palm Pre that includes SNES NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and even PlayStation. So um, stay tuned, and here we go. So far for the pre, there are a lot of programs that help you find out uh, your weather forecast and movie times. The pro there's a program called Where, and it helps you find out all of that, and it also helps you find uh, local businesses, like if you're looking for a certain kind of food to eat tonight, or maybe a movie rental place, you can look that up in their Yellow Pages um, button. Pandora, this is an internet radio application that I've never really used before. Um, you put down some names of songs and bands that you're into, and uh, it finds more songs and bands like that. Uh, it's free, so I have no idea why you wouldn't pick this one up. If you really like Twitter, there's uh, two applications, Tweet and Spaz. I really don't Twitter that much, so um, I guess you would have to see which one you like best. This game is called Speed Brain, and basically all you're going to do is uh, say if the, this pattern matches the pattern that they just showed. Um, you do it as fast as you can, and it helps to find out if you're retarded or not. Go Payment, this is an application I haven't set up yet, but it seems like a cool idea. You put in someone's credit card information, and you get a payment instantly. Um, good way, uh, like if you're a bum, and somebody all, always says, you know, I only got a credit card, you can say, well, I'll just charge you from that. If you're big on Sudoku, they have a Sudoku application. I'm not too big on it. I'm more of a word game guy, like crosswords and up and down words and stuff like that. But, you know, Sudoku fans rejoice. Connect for demo. This has single player and multiplayer. Now, the multiplayer is you can use the same device and give it back and forth or you can play online. You can't talk to the other person, but they know when they lost. When you're playing ROMs on your pre, you can use your touchscreen and QWERTY keyboard as navigation and attack buttons. But for this demonstration, I will be using this, a Bluetooth uh, keyboard. Um, I will keep it in landscape mode because it looks better in landscape mode. Um, I have to work it out so um, when I put it in uh, like this that the screen doesn't get distorted on certain games. But uh, landscape mode, everything runs smoothly, even PlayStation 1 games. Um, you would think that it, the pre was made specifically to run these games. So I'm going to get into this and show you how this stuff works. This is the Super Nintendo, what it looks like on um, the Palm Pre. As you can hear, the music is, you know, not sluggish or anything like on a lot of other devices. Um, it's pretty easy. I mean, I like it. It's not as easy to use if you're uh, if you're using the touch screen and the QWERTY keyboard, but um, it's still pretty fun. I highly advise you getting one of these. All right, here's Tekken 2. Um, I'm not going to play the game because I'll probably get my ass beat, and I don't want to do that on YouTube, but I just want to show you guys. Uh, I'm just going to load it up for you. So you look at the look at the graphics. Smooth music, excellent. Hitachi. Look, it looks like you're playing on the PlayStation. This is excellent quality, and this is only the beta version. So, um, I, like I said, I got a few kinks to work at. It looks best in landscape mode. I'm trying to figure out how to. Uh, get it a, a better in portrait so for beta versions of the emulators you just saw just click the link on the side um, really easy directions to follow uh, I'm working on something like this for the iPhone and the, um, the iPod touch so just give me some time as far as the iPhone I can't uh, give you guys uh, the, the Bluetooth keypad because uh, the iPhone will not fit in here but uh, pre-users um, you're in luck just click the link and uh, follow the directions you can play the emulator for free uh, without the keypad 
But I, I got to tell you, it's a lot better with the keypad and a lot easier because you get the all the trigger buttons and you get the actual buttons instead of using the screen. But I mean, some people might like to use the screen, so um, that's it.